Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back. And today we are going to be doing something pretty cool. And just do be warned, this is not for beginners. And uh, I'll show you why in just a second. Now, you see this? This was not made in Roblox Studio. This was made by someone else in uh, Blender, I presume. It's a pretty good mesh. Pretty or pretty good meshes. You know, they can be twisted and pulled around, and that's all pretty cool, but it's not made in Roblox Studio, and it doesn't have that, you know, Roblox Studio look to it. And I want something that actually looks like it was made in Roblox Studio. Well, you know the saying, if you want something done right, then uh, do it yourself. And that's exactly what I did. I remade the whole thing in Roblox Studio. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I just felt compelled to. So, uh, yeah. I'll basically be showing you how to do this. And that's why this video is not for beginners. Now, first of all, you just want a block about this size. You can try to measure it or, you know, align it with the rest of them. But, uh, you know, that's... That doesn't always work. So, you know, you, you can make it whatever, whatever size you want. As long as it's not, you know, bigger than the player or way too small. For, so, yeah. You want it about that size right here. You want about this size. This part's really easy. This is probably the easiest part. Just take this. Duplicate. And shrink it or scale it down to about this size. You know, not 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 like that. Uh, you know, maybe about like that. That's a good size. So then you're gonna duplicate this and drag it onto the other side. Align it with the edge, or as closely or as close to the edge as you can. I'll take this again, duplicate it, but this time pull it back here. Make sure it's a good size like that. Yeah, that seems pretty good. And then take, oh, we're going to pull this out a little bit so we can grab it uh, without going inside like that. Now take this and pull it onto the other side. Align it with the edges. And then just take the whole block, scale it down, and then delete the block. Now this just leaves you with an empty little box. Now, next, you're going to want to make uh, the top part, which is also very easy. Just uh, copy and paste that. And if it's floating a little bit like that, that's fine. You can just scale it up a little bit. And then put it down here. Now we're going to use a little method I like to use. Uh, this was shown in a previous video. So we're going to use that to split this in half. We're going to take this, control scale it down here. Make sure it is a little thick and uh, pull it out. Now you, you can uh, edit this a little bit. Oh, you don't want that though. That's way too skinny. I'll take this, scale it down. A and then duplicate it, and then pull it onto this side, and then delete that, and boom! You have two perfectly symmetrical um, squares or rectangles with a nice little cut in between them. So that's nice. You don't have to add this, but I will, because, you know, I like the tiny details in uh, things. So I'm going to take this, scale it down, make sure it aligns with the cut, Pull it out a little bit. And pull it down. So now, it just looks like a little tiny piece of tape. T tape. I'm stupid. Tape. Uh, you can edit this a little bit, make it a little bit thinner. But yeah, that's the basic idea. It looks like tape. You can also turn up the transparency. So, you know, it's not completely see-through, but, you know, you can still see the outline 
and then we can texture this differently later. I will also leave this on uh, smooth plastic. Now this part is really easy. Also, all you have to do is duplicate this, pull it out, uh, extend the sides a little bit, so you know you can see it sticking out a little bit, and then pull it up, and make sure it overlaps through the whole thing except for maybe the tape. So then take this. Put it on corroded metal. Turn up the transparency. I would leave this at about 0.5%. And you also probably want to make sure this is labeled. So, you know, you can uh, highlight everything else without uh, highlighting this part to, you know, change everything. So I'm just going to name this text. Uh, short for texture. There is going to be a little bit of this right here that doesn't really matter though because most likely no one's gonna see it but if you have like something like this you probably do want to you know get rid of that just a tiny bit just so people you know don't notice it as easily so yeah like that now that you know which one's the te the texture you're gonna take all of this highlight it except for the tape and paint it uh, nougat or nougat. I don't know how to say it because uh, I'm dumb. But yeah, you're going to change it to this color. So now it's looking more like a old box. And you're going to take this and change the color to light orange. Now you can decorate it with whatever you want. Like literally whatever you want. It does not matter what you put on here. As long as it fits within the box. So I'm just going to put my uh, games logo, uh, Ryzen Tech, on this. I'm gonna go to my images. You you can do this too. You can just find any image and put it on here. Also, make sure this is um, smooth plastic and institutional white. And then just move it in in here. I would try to make it so it's also within the texture. So then you can grab that, turn it around, and bring it to the other side. Next, you're just going to scale a block to about this size. Put it up here, uh, scale it down a little bit if you need to. And uh, go to images and just look for barcode. And you should find a couple in here. I don't know exactly where it is, but, you know, you can take anything uh, like this. Yeah, like that. So this one right here, uh, my username barcode. So this is someone's user username, apparently, but, you know, you can take it anyway. And just leave it right there for, like, extra design. Also, this is very optional. But if you want, you can have one of these. Just on the side here. It's optional. You don't have to have it. But, uh, you know, if you want that extra bit of detail, you can, you know, put it there. You also can, if you want to, you know, take these and copy and paste them on the other side. So I'm going to do that real quick. Also, by the way, just in case, like in the situation where you can't grab these images, you know, I would go in here and extend them so you know you can easily grab them from like wherever and then just you know pull them out i'm just gonna highlight these yep nothing moved with them take that rotate it and pull it onto the other side boom you have your nice little box and it's completely done there is however nothing inside of it so you know you can put something in there I personally wouldn't like I don't know you can take one of these or something just <laughs> lay it on it lay it on its side and just you know put it in here leave it in here as like a little surprise I don't know like a little easter egg but I wouldn't do that else. so you know leave it out I guess so boom you have your nice little box now time to move on to the rest Next is this one. It's quite a bit harder to make than the last one, 
but I wouldn't say it's too hard. This does require some unions, though. So I would, um, I would go to my other videos and check out, like, the union guide, uh, something like that. Uh, links will be in the description. So, uh, go check those out. Now, to make this, I just want a box about this size. Uh, not too big, almost, you know, two studs, like, one and three quarters of a stud. That's how big you want it. And only just about less than half of a stud uh, in length. Now we're going to use the same method as we did uh, with uh, the box uh, to make the inside, you know, seeable. There. Perfect. Very, very nice. All right. The easiest thing you can do right now is uh, probably the, fla or the flaps at the bottom. Now you're going to take this, scale it up. Not too much, but not too little. About right there. I'll take this. We're going to do the separating method. Uh, align it with the edges. And then delete that. What? Oh, okay. Well, now we got this part, which is actually we could use this. So we're going to put this back down here. We're actually going to use this. And uh, we are going to put that about right there. And then we're going to do the separating method with this. Uh, make sure it's not too thick. Want it to be quite a bit, quite skinny, actually. Um, we're going to do that. And that. And boom. You have a little, little separation right there. So now you have a couple of flops down here, which is pretty cool. But uh, what about the top part? Well, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're going to want a cylinder and a block. First, you want to make uh, the block uh, really, really skinny, like that. Then you're going to align it with this, uh, put it uh, halfway. Now you're going to extend it a little bit. Just make sure it doesn't extend too far. Now you're going to take this, bring it over here, scale it down a bunch. Now you're going to want to have to do the best aligning you can it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because chances are people won't be noticing all the tiny imperfections but try and align it as best you can because you never know of course of course you want this part to align halfway with the cylinder so about right like make it cut through half of it now once you got that basically perfectly aligned you can take this and pull it onto the other side. Take this, pull it up just a bit, kind of like that. Take this and negate it. And boom, you have a nice little uh, cut right there. It's very nice, actually. But before you do that, you probably want to take this and put it on the other side, too. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and boom, you have a nice little cut. Now, for the last tiny details. Gonna take this, scale it down a bunch, put it in here, put it through here, bring it up, negate, put it on the other side, union, union. And boom, you have a little cardboard box. This is the tricky part, the texturing, because Roblox doesn't have a cardboard texture, obviously. So you're gonna have to look for one, and that can be hard, because it's not every day you find a really good one. Because, obviously, that doesn't look too good. Ooh. That doesn't look that bad. You know, you can put a bunch together. See which one you like the most. I don't know. It just depends. Ooh. That's actually kind of good. I like that one. Now you're going to take the same texture and put it literally everywhere. When I say literally everywhere, I mean everywhere. It has to be everywhere on the box. If it's not, it doesn't work. Now, if you have to, you can lift some stuff to, uh, you know, get the tiny things in there. Like uh, this. Immortal enemy edges. Disgusting. And there you go. There's your little cardboard, you know, box. 
You can take all this, grope it, move it around. I don't care what you do with it. But now you have it. And uh, I say have fun with it. Now for the last one. Which is, you know, pretty much on the same level as the cardboard uh, box. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to texture anything. Uh, but there are a couple unions and some, you know, spaces in between uh, boards. So, you know, be prepared for that. And boom, you have this little box about the same size as the one I just showed you. Put it like this as best you can. Now we're going to do the same thing we did for all the others. Now that you have this, you're going to take the bottom one and scale it up a bit. Not too much. Or not too little. Uh, about like that if you can measure it correctly. Now what I would do for this is I would turn your move snap to grid to four studs. Or point, scratch that, point four studs. And then scale it down like that to about that size. Now you're going to raise that up to snap to grid at point eight studs. Move it like that. Actually, you know what? Uh seven since that didn't work there we go perfect 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 and then repeat that and boom you have, a, you have a nice little bottom right here now it doesn't matter if you have little pieces like this sticking out you can just take that and put it back in it doesn't matter but what does matter is that you don't have a, a gaping hole down here just make sure there's a little part under here so you know the boards don't you know stick out on the bottom like that you want to something like this now before this next part i would recommend taking all of this and uh making it wood um whatever color you want it as long as it's like a wood color i guess yeah something like that now we're gonna basically do the same thing we did with the cardboard box thing and make uh but for this time we're making a handle but it's the same idea you get a little block and a little cylinder. Now, for the time being, you can pull this out and scale it. You can uh, align this outside of it. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it ends up with the same result. Now, put it in about halfway and scale it until it fits. You'll know when it fits until you can't see that line. And boom, that's good enough. And good enough is just fine. Now, you're going to do this. Duplicate it and pull it onto the onto the opposite side. Make sure you can't see the line. Take this, negate it, and pull it back down. Position it to what feels right to you. And union. And boom, you have a little handle. That's pretty cool. Now you're gonna take. But before that, of course, you want on uh, you want it on this side as well. So you're gonna union that and union this. And boom, you have yourself a nice little wooden box. And group. And you can do whatever you want with this as well. You can put it anywhere you want. Uh, in any game you want. It's pretty cool. So anyway, that's how you make all of this. It's very cool. I like these a lot. And then, of course, you can position all of this uh, that way to uh, make it the same as this one. But uh, I don't feel like doing that right now because it's really late and i'm gonna have to end the video here so you know if you like the video please like and subscribe uh comment if you have any questions concerns feedback um and yeah that's the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed i'll see you all in the next one bye